Hi, my name is Afrina. I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Welcome to this demo of Gemini Cloud Assist. So, what is Gemini Cloud Assist? Gemini Cloud Assist is your AI-powered collaborator in Google Cloud. It provides you AI assistance for managing applications across the entire lifecycle. In this video, I'll first show you how to enable Gemini Cloud Assist in the Google Cloud Console, and then I will demo a few examples how of how you can use Gemini Cloud Assist to accomplish operational tasks from simple to complex. To get the most out of Gemini Cloud Assist, let's first ensure it has necessary permissions to support you effectively. Check out our documentation page to learn how to set up Gemini Cloud Assist. There are two important steps here. Number one, enabling the required APIs. Number two, granting IAM permissions. I completed these steps when I was preparing for this video. Let me show you in the console. I'm now on the product page. I will click on Manage Gemini Cloud Assist. All the APIs are enabled here in my project, and your chat experience with Gemini will vary based on the APIs you activate. Once you're done here, head over to IAM and ensure that you have the necessary roles to interact with Gemini. Gemini Cloud Assist gives you the access to powerful monitoring capabilities, allowing you to gain insights into health, performance, and utilization of your Google Cloud resources from a chat interface. You can use the chat to prompt about various things, such as resource utilization, inquire about network traffic, find job status and performance, system health, and more. Let's see it in action. We can ask Gemini, what is the difference between Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner? There you go. Gemini Cloud Assist uses the public knowledge agent, like Google Cloud external documentation, to answer your questions. Now, I'm going to ask a specific question to Gemini about the number of VMs in my project. How many VMs are there in my project? There you go. It responded with the exact number of VMs in my project. And it also shows me the query it used to obtain this data. And it also shows the source from where it actually received this data. Now I'm going to ask Gemini, how can I save money on these VMs? When you click on the recommendations, this will take you to Active Assist page directly, where you can see the resource name and location. You could also ask for security recommendations. Gemini will fetch information from the Active Assist Recommendation Hub and display it in the chat. Now, let's understand how Gemini Cloud storage users can benefit from Gemini Cloud Assist. In most organizations, cloud storage differs from other cloud products because it typically lacks a dedicated administrator. Also, it operates at immense scale, which can involve billions or even trillions of objects spread across tens and thousands of buckets, making managing storage and finding answers to even simple data questions incredibly difficult. Storage is managed by people scattered throughout an organization who often aren't experts in storage or data security. They just require storage to complete other tasks. For these users, Gemini Cloud Assist provides a quick, simple way to get in context help on how to configure their storage so they can get back to their main job. Let's take a seemingly basic question. What are three largest buckets? To answer this, you would need to manually list all the objects in your buckets and then manually add their sizes together. For larger organization, this might require millions of list calls and hours of runtime. This is where Gemini Cloud Assist shines. Combined with Cloud Storage's storage intelligence, it lets you get answers by just typing a question into the Gemini chat. Let me take a real-world scenario and show you how we can use Gemini Cloud Assist to answer a complex question. In the healthcare industry, there are often strict rules for where and how long you store your data. Ensuring that the data is stored in the right location to allow it to be performant and compliant with healthcare regulations can be very challenging. I'm going to ask Gemini to break down where my storage buckets are located. From there, I can analyze things further through multi-ton chat, drilling down based on bucket and object names, 
locations, and more to find the exact data I want to act on. Google Cloud and by extension Gemini can only read the metadata of these objects and not the files themselves. Now let's identify the buckets outside my primary region and then determine which ones contain patient data, specifically the files with DCM in their names, so I can move them to the primary region. Now that I've identified these buckets, for compliance reason, I still can't legally move protected patient records. I need to exclude any bucket labeled protected. And there we go. It was easy for us to identify the buckets that needed to be moved instantly. Gemini Cloud Assist empowers you to use natural language interactions to easily analyze your cloud storage across projects and location, all while saving you time and effort. Let's give Gemini Cloud Assist something more complex to do. I'm going to ask Gemini to show me the top VMs with the highest network traffic. There you go. I like that it actually responded with a chart. If you'd like to drill down further, click on Metrics Explorer. Chart is a great way to get quick insights from the right metrics. However, when you're exploring a specific set of data, it is helpful to explore it directly from the purpose-driven UI. Google Cloud has several purpose-driven UIs. Now, I want to better understand my network traffic using VPC flow logs. If you've ever worked with them, you might know VPC flow logs are powerfully granular, but it can be challenging to aggregate them and understand the network traffic at scale. Let me first find out which tool Google recommends for analyzing VPC flow logs. Per Gemini, the primary tool for analyzing VPC flow logs is Flow Analyzer. Chat is also a great way to explore other tools in the console. Now let's go to Flow Analyzer. I want to understand all the TCP traffic from your VMs to the internet over the last two days. My SQL is rusty, so I'm going to ask Gemini to help me write a query. Hit Generate SQL. And there you go. It generated the SQL query for me. Click on Open in Flow Analyzer. Here, I'm able to see the TCP traffic from my VMs here. Based on the prompt you provide here, Gemini can help you write all the way from simple to complex SQL queries. Let's see how Gemini can help us understand error logs. Do you use error reporting today? This is my go-to place to look at all error logs. I see a log with an error here. Let's click on one of these errors. From here, you could do two things. You could start an investigation from here, which means that you want to understand what's happening with this error logs, or you could click on view logs. Now let's click on this log. This log entry is a little big. I can use Gemini's help to understand what's going on with this log entry. I'm going to click on explain this log entry. It automatically created a prompt on the Gemini chat here. And there you go. Gemini just summarized the log entry for me in natural language and it helps me understand what's going on with the log error. In this quick video, I showed you a few examples of how you can use Gemini Cloud Assist and its chat feature to do things like gain insights into Google Cloud products and resources, analyze your cloud storage across projects and location, understand your network traffic, and analyze error messages from log data. Gemini can do much more than that. For example, it can also help you design application infrastructure with natural language. To learn more, please click on the description below for more videos on Gemini Cloud Assist. Or you can log into your Google Cloud Console today and give Gemini Cloud Assist a try. Thank you and have a nice day.